wanna smoke with me Then turn this mother 800 degrees Team me, she's cause she's a G Oh, she's so bougie, bougie, I'm a savage, yeah. attitude nasty yeah. Talk big, big, but my bank account matching Good, yeah. but I'm classy, rich, but I'm ratchet yeah. Haters get my name in their mouth, now they're gagging yeah. Bougie, he say the way that thing move, it's a move I told that boy, we gotta keep it low, leave me the room key yeah. Don't let the doctor know it's hot, hot, I'm boom, she ooh, and I'm moving She must start her only fans. Big B and that B stands for bands. If you wanna see some real, baby, here's a chance. I say left cheek, right cheek, drop it like I'm playing. Fix yourself in this thing, put you up in this game. I be walking my frame. Gang, 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 gang. If you don't drop to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Please don't give me hype. I might write my name in ice. Can't argue with these lazy basics, I just raise my price. I'm a boss, I'm a leader. I pull up in my two seater, and my mama was a savage. I got this kid from Peter. I'm a savage. Yeah. Hey guys, Emmy, you and Emmy Fitness. Welcome to Strong AF Band Camp. We are going to use resistance bands today. Now, if you don't have these, that's okay. There are plenty of other classes out there that I've got on my channel, also on YouTube, because uh, I think Twitch only holds a few at a time. So you can check out my YouTube channel. I'll put all my social media info, lots of other things using dumbbells, other kinds of classes, because you will definitely need bands. We're going to keep it pretty simple today. There are a ton of things you can use resistance bands for. You're not going to need an anchor. You're not going to need to do anything on the ground. So if you've only got like one resistance band, just use that, right? We'll make the best of it. So I'm gonna put my social media info up here and we'll be starting class in just a moment. So there you have it. If you wanna check out Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube to find some other class formats, there's all your info. Grab your resistance band or bands if you do have them and some water. We'll be starting class in about 30 seconds. Just tuned in. I'm Emmy, you and Emmy Fitness. Today we've got Strong AF Band Camp. So go ahead and grab a light resistance band. And you're gonna put that under your feet. We're gonna start with just a little warm up. All right, so if it's too light and too easy, you can always shorten it. So like I'm grabbing mine down a little bit lower here. We're gonna start with a little nice and easy bent over row. So tip down, row nice and slow. All right, just take those elbows back and return. Slight bend in your knees, neck stays in line with your spine. Let's pick up the pace, take it up, and down, and up. Follow that fast beat in the music. Couple more. Oh yeah, 
Let's stand up nice and straight. You're gonna take those feet out a little bit wider, right outside the hips. And let's bring the bands up here. Easy squats. Nice and easy, no big deal. Right, just here in the top range. Keep your chest lifted, keep your core tight. Draw that belly button in toward the spine and brace hard. Two more like this. Full range, slow it down. Take it down for two and up, two. Sit your butt back and down like you're sitting in an invisible chair. Stop your booty right above the knee line. Let's go singles. Yes. Let's add a little press up top. What? Oh yeah. Punch in my ceiling. A couple more like this. Warming up those shoulders along with the legs. Four. Three. That's what I like. Stop. Bring those feet back in. Bring your arms down. Now take them forward. Up. Up. A few more. Let's slow these down. Up, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Stand up nice and tall. Should be starting to feel a little warm. One more. Biceps. Up, down. So keep your elbows in, right next to the ribs. That's what I like. One at a time, up. Other side. Both. Two more. One. Let's step back. Long step back, put that band underneath that front foot. Let's shorten it a little bit if you got a nice light one. Couple of lunges here. Just a couple, or a few, four. Step in, other leg steps back. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we should be feeling warm by now. Heart rate up a little bit. Muscles ready for action. So if you want to go heavier, I definitely don't recommend that you go crazy heavy because we aren't going to have a whole lot of time to swap out. If you've got handles on all of your bands, awesome. It'll be really easy for you to switch. I have one set of handles for multiple bands. So you'll have time in between blocks, but within each block, we're going to alternate two exercises. So if you want to use different sizes for each of those, a lot easier to just shorten the band, right? So we'll talk about that. We're gonna have two exercises per block, alternating between those two. Where did I put my stopwatch? There it is. All right, so first we've got a bent over row like we did in that warm up, and then a high pull, right? So you're gonna stand on that band, feet underneath the hips, you're gonna tip forward, and you're gonna row, right, for about 25 seconds. And then we've got about five seconds to transition to our other move. Whoops, sorry, we're actually gonna stay right there. And then we've got a high pull, okay? So you're gonna lift and lower. If it's too easy, shorten it. Just bring your hands down a little bit lower to add some tension there, okay? So let's start with that bent over row. Feet on your band, right under the hips. Stand up nice and tall, ready? Here we go. So we're gonna tip forward and row. So if you're already shortening it, and it's definitely too easy, and you've got multiple bands, grab a heavier resistance band. You can always keep shortening it, right? That's gonna take it up a notch. Three, two, one. Here comes that high pull. Stand up nice and tall. Lift the chest. Lift those arms high. Oh yes, starting to feel it a little bit. 
Ooh. You got it. So we're gonna go back to that bent over row. Just a couple seconds here. In three, two, one. Back to the row. So you're just tipping forward, slight bend in the knees. Neck stays in line with the spine. Take those elbows back. Keep your shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Keep coming. Remember to change your grip on your band. Ooh, if you need to change the intensity. Three, two, one. Back to that high pull. Stand tall, lift, and lower. Oh yes. So you might have some shorter resistance bands. You can certainly use those as well, right? It's gonna make it a little bit more challenging depending on how short those are, right? If you've got the little mini bands and how heavy the tension is. You've got three, two, one, bent over row. Remember we're alternating between those two. We are halfway through. Two more sets of each exercise. Tipping at the hips, neck in line with the spine, shoulders relaxed away from the ears. So what that means, don't hunch up, right? I don't wanna see this, shoulders relaxed. Just take those elbows back. Oh yeah. That's time, switch to your high pull. Stand up nice and tall, chest lifted and proud. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. So if you've only got one size band and you've already shortened it as much as you can, you're already feeling the maximum, and you're starting to get a little bored, then you know what? Change up your tempo. You can slow it down. You can do an isometric hold, lift quick, slow release. That is time. Back to your bent over row, last set. Right, so tempo changes. You can also add a little pulse. Add some pulsing action to spice it up a little bit. Hopefully you're not bored. Woo. Yeah, tempo changes are a great way to jazz it up a little bit. Almost there guys, three, two, one. Yes, high pull, last time, stand tall. Here we go, shoulders relax. I know we're lifting high, but careful not to do this, right? Shoulders down. Oh man. Definitely feeling that burn here in this last set. You're almost there. Oh, hang in, hang in. Woo, five seconds. Yeah. Three, two, one. Take a rest. Woo. Take a quick little stretch if you need it. Reach those arms forward as far away as you can reach. Oh yes. And take your forearms down to your quads and round out your back and hold there. And then just slowly roll up. Ah, don't worry, we're gonna get a nice cool down at the end of this class. But sometimes we like a little stretch in between sets, right? Up next, we're gonna work our legs. We've got a lateral walk, side to side walk, and then squats. So for your walk, you're gonna step kind of wide here, holding the band. You're gonna bend a little bit. You're gonna walk, walk, and then walk back the other way, right? So kind of sit down. The further you come down, the harder it's gonna be, of course. And then we've got a squat. So our feet right outside our hips. You're gonna bring those arms up and sit the butt back and down, stopping it right above the knee line. Are we ready for this? Let's do it. Get your feet on that band. And let's go. So you're gonna step wide, you're gonna sit down into it a little bit. Bend into those knees. If you wanna get way down there, go for it. Oh yeah. Just walking side to side. You can take as many steps as you want, side to side. Ooh, feeling that yet? And that is time, squats. Feet right outside the hips. Let's go, get it. 
Sit that butt back and down. Stop it right above the knee line. Pull on those bands. Ooh. Chest lifted and proud. Core is tight. Every time you come up, squeeze your glutes. Three, two, one. Woo. Back to your walk. Step out. Ready? Bend in. Walk it, walk it. And back the other way. Oh yes. Now this is one of those that kind of looks funny, <laughs> right? But oh my gosh. Hurts so good. <sighs> Lots of exercises like that. They might look or feel silly, but hardcore. That is time. Here comes that squat. Find your stance. <sighs> and here we go. Squats. Sit that butt back and down. Keep the chest lifted. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Ooh, you got it. Grr, three, two, one. Quick rest, quick setup for that walk. Ready? Bend into the knees. Party like a rock star. We know how to party right here. Okay, keep coming. Oh yes. Where are you feeling it? Grit your teeth. Three, two, one. Squat. Set three or four, you guys. We got this. Ooh. Remember, if it's too easy. Shorten your bands. Or change your tempo. Slow it down, add a pulse. Three, two, one. Back to your walk. Whew. Ready? Here we go. Bend those knees. Walk, walk, walk. Oh yes. Last set, thank goodness. Oh, stay with me. Big wide steps to the side. Three, two, one. Last time for your squat. Woo, ouch, right there, yeah? Feet right outside the hips. Bring those arms up. Here we go, here we go. Ooh. Sit back and down. Sit in that chair and then push the floor away through the heels. <sighs> Big squeeze in the glutes at the top. <sighs> Ooh. <sighs> almost there, almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. Ooh. Ooh. Give those legs a little stretch. Awesome job. Ooh. Hey, grab a drink if you need it. Quick rest. Got about a minute in between blocks. Up next, we've got a pull apart and a front raise. So, whatever size band you have, even if you've got your super heavy tension one, you're not gonna hold your handles, you're gonna hold it in toward the center. And you're just gonna pull it apart. Right, so unless you have a teeny tiny one that's really heavy, you're probably not holding it at the ends. But find where that feels right for you. You wanna be able to open up and close and that should feel challenging, right? If you're way out here, that's too easy. Then your front raise. We're gonna stand on it again, feet right underneath the hips. And you're gonna take those arms up and down. Felt that already after one rep. Pull apart up first, stand up nice and tall. Heels under the hips. Ready, go. Pull it apart, control it in. Careful, right? This is one of those moves that you can just see yourself, <laughs> like, like watch if I let go of it and snap myself in the face and then it'll go viral. <sighs> right, so control. Open wide, 
Don't just let it snap forward. That's time, front raise. Set one of four. Step on the band, stand up tall. Here we go. Take those arms up and down. Ooh. Lift and lower. Remember you can shorten your bands if it's too easy. It's definitely not too easy for me. <laughs> Woo! Yes, hang in. Three, two, one. Back to that pull apart. Stand up tall. Here we go. Open, control. Take those arms all the way out if you can. Remember what I keep saying about the shoulders, right? None of this. Relax them down away from the ears. Shoulders are ear poison. Just keep thinking that. Don't tense up. We want to tense as our muscles start to fatigue. Three, two, one. Front raise. Put it under the feet. Oh, yes. Ready, go. Lift and lower. And don't forget all your options for spicing it up, right? You can slow. Ooh. You can add some pulses. Bigger challenge there. Hang in. Three, two, one. Pull apart. Quick transition. Stand up tall. Here we go. Woo, are you starting to feel it? <laughs> We're halfway through. This is set three of four. You got it. Woo. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Front raise. Stand on that band. Stand up tall, here we go. So those of you who do a lot of strength training but never use bands, I would love to hear from you and see what you think of these. It's just a different way to train, right? So if you're used to lifting pretty heavy with your dumbbells or your barbell, you might really be struggling with these because it's just different, right? Woo. Three, two, one. Back to that pull apart. Oh, I see somebody sent me a message. Stand up nice and tall. Ready? Here we go. Arms wide. Control on the way back in. I'm going to see if I can read that. Hello everyone out there. CKB444. Definitely not bored. Good. <laughs> Happy to have you here. Whew. That's how I feel. Definitely not bored. Whew. Three, two, one. One, front raise, last time. Come on, stand on that band, stand up nice and tall, last one. Make it count, I know you're feeling it. Hang in. We're gonna give these arms a rest after this set. Woo! Oh yeah. Working the chest and the shoulders. Feeling all those muscles. Almost there. Three, two, one. Woo. Yes. Take a rest. So you can clasp your hands behind your back. Big lift through the chest. Oh, that should feel good after all those pull-aparts. Right? And then your shoulders. Reach one arm across. And then reach the other arm across if you want a quick little shoulder stretch. Grab a drink, shake it all out. Up next, we're gonna move this party back to our legs and give the upper body a little rest. Or you've got an option to add some shoulders. So you're gonna put your band underneath that front foot. Long step back. So if you start in our strong set position with your heels right under your hips, step directly back from there, okay? You're gonna bend the arms a little bit and you're just gonna lunge, right? So the more pull on that band or the shorter you make it, the more you're gonna feel. Here's your option. Add a lateral raise here. Yes, a little extra. So we're gonna alternate one leg, then the other leg. Here we go. First side, 
long stride back and go to start that lunge. Oh yeah. Both knees at 90 degrees, that back knee going straight down toward the floor, front thigh parallel with the floor. Shoulders stacked over hips, knees stacked over ankle. Three, two, one. Whew, step it in, long step back, and go. Other leg. Ooh. So, if that's too much on your arms, and you're already not doing the option, you just don't wanna hold them up that high, just shorten, right? Hold down a little bit lower. That way we're still getting the tension for the leg, but we don't have to hold way up here. Time, step in, long step back with the other side. Here we go. Add those arms if you're feeling good. Lateral raise out to the side. Shorten them a little bit. Oh yes. Hang in, hang in. Three, two, one. Step it in, step it back. Here we go. Oh, arms getting tired. Ow! Hang in, keep coming. You got this. Stay strong, stay focused. Almost halfway there. Three, two, one. Ooh, step it in, step it back. Ready? Here we go, set three or four. Oh yeah. Really push the floor away through that front heel. Ooh. Three, two, one. Step in, step back. Ooh. I've either got sweat running down my back or a spider on me. <laughs> don't think about it, I mean, don't think about it. <laughs> oh man, almost through our set three. You got this. Come on. Oh. Three, two, one. You got one more. Step in, step back. Ready? Lunge, let's do it, add those arms if you can. Even just for a few reps. Woo. Almost there. Three, two, one. Oh, step in, long step back with the other leg. Come on. Ready? Let's do this. Last time. Woo, fight through it. Add those arms if you can. Just do a couple. Woo. You're right there. Almost there, almost there. Three, two, one. Woo. Oh yes. So if you added those arms, <laughs> give them a quick stretch. Oh, definitely give the legs a stretch. Press the heel into the glute. Big stretch through the quad. Oh my quad, feel that burn all through the legs. Up next, we got one more set. Hang in there with me one more, yes? Mm. Let's do this. Arms, biceps, and triceps. So we're gonna do a single arm overhead extension for our triceps. So see what I'm doing here. Put it under your front foot. Just gonna stagger your stance here a little bit. Longer on the outside. We're gonna take that arm up. 
And we're gonna bend at the elbow and straighten, yes? So two sets on that side and then two sets on the other side. In between, we've got biceps, okay? So just a good old fashioned hammer curl. Heels under the hips, knuckles facing out, lift and lower, elbows in, okay? Let's start with whoo, that overhead extension, one side, ready? Go, stand up nice and tall, longer on the outside, arm goes up, bend at the elbow. Ooh, yes. Remember to shorten your band if you need to, or grab a heavier one if you got one, and this is too easy. Three, two, one. Hammer curls, so you wanna put it underneath both feet again, like we've done for most of our movements, up and down. So those elbows, make sure you keep them in next to the rib cage, glue them in. Keep them right under the shoulders. Oh yes, shorten it if you need to. You need the bigger challenge, right? See how it feels. Try to make it a little bit harder. Three, two, one, woo! Let's do that same arm for triceps, the one you did last time, okay? So same stance, take the arm up. Ready, here we go. I went a little too long on that side. I gotta shorten my band now. Woo, all the way to the base of the neck. Fully extend at the top. Keep that elbow pointing straight forward. Ow! You got it. Stay with me. Three, two, one. Hammer curls. Bring the band under both feet. Stand up tall. Here we go. Whoop. Elbows in. Right next to the rib cage. Elbows under the shoulders. Don't let them sneak forward or back. If you've got a mirror close by or a window, check it out. Where's that elbow? Should be right under the shoulder. Ooh. Three, two, one. Other side for your triceps. Outside arm a little longer, right? Split your stance, take that arm up, bend and extend. Point the elbow straight forward. Ooh, so no flaring out, right? Take it all the way down, full extension of the top. Ooh, yes. Uh-oh, I lost track of time. <laughs> Three, two, one, and stop. Hammer curls. Both feet on the band. <sighs> Ready, here we go. Hammer curls, take it up, down, up, down. Ooh, sorry, I got a little sidetracked because my music was cutting out. Hopefully that didn't happen for you. Hopefully it was a Bluetooth earbud connection thing and not a problem for you guys. Almost there, guys. Come on. Three, two, one. Last set. So the same arm we just did for triceps. Stand tall. Extend. Here we go. Bend it. Extend it. Ooh. Almost there. Last time, last set, stay with me. Give it all you got. Three, two, one, biceps. Last time, last time, let's go. Woo, hammer curls. And we just ran out of music. That's okay. Still a great song coming up. It's our cool down song coming on. We're almost there. Lift and lower with control. Work those biceps. We got three, two, one, release. Shake those poor arms. 
So grab a drink, take a moment, start taking some slow, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Walk it off, shake it out. And then we'll start our nice cool down stretch. Mm -hmm. So guys, I would love to hear how you felt about this workout. I try to keep things short, 30 to 35 minutes. We do a quick warm up, we have a cool down at the end. We work really hard for about 25 or so minutes in the middle. And it's a pretty good workout, it's pretty solid. The bands are great, because again, they're different. If you're used to using dumbbells, it's just a different way to train. So let me know what you thought if you want to see more things like this. Or if you didn't love it, let me know which ones you do enjoy and I'll be sure to add more classes like that. Let's start with a nice stretch for our biceps and triceps. Open wide, point your thumbs down and push your arms back. Ooh, we ended with that big set for the arms. Let's give them a good stretch. Ooh, shoulders are relaxed down. Really press back. Feel that big stretch, the front of the arm. And you can point those thumbs back a little bit if you want a bigger stretch. Keep taking those breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And let's bring the arms up, grab hold of one elbow. Your other arm, your hand should be middle finger about in the middle of your back. Grabbing onto that elbow with a tap, pulling gently. Feel that nice stretch right here. And let's switch. Middle finger in the middle of the back. Gently pulling on that elbow. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And let's take the arms around. Reach one arm across. Get a nice shoulder stretch here. Keep breathing. And reach the other arm across. Let's take our forearms down to our quads. I want you to round out your back and hold here for a round of breath or two. Big deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And let your arms hang down toward the floor and slowly straighten your legs. Hold there, take a big deep breath in. Exhale it out. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Your head is gonna come up last and then I want you to reach both arms forward as far away as you can reach without tipping forward, just reaching the arms. Big release for the upper back muscles here. And then let's open up the arms, drop the shoulders down, lifting the chest. And take the arms gently down, clasp your hands behind your back, bigger lift to the chest. Now take your hands and lift them up toward the ceiling. Keep breathing. And then try to bring your palms to touch for a bigger stretch through the chest, through the back, through the arms. Release, shake out. Bring your feet in right under your hips. Let's take a big deep breath in and take the arms up. Press into your heels, reach those fingertips up toward the ceiling. Big breath in. And then as you exhale, take the elbows out wide. Little back bend here. Big deep breath in, take the arms back up. And exhale, back bend. Inhale, take the arms up. 
and bring our hands down right here. Let's get a quad stretch. Grab hold of one foot, press the heel into the glute, knees nice and close together. Get the biggest stretch you can through the front of that leg. Your opposite arm is out for balance or you can hold on to something if you need to. A couple nice big deep breaths. Now that foot you're holding on to, let go of it and step it down in front. Shift your weight back, tip at your hips, and we're gonna reach out toward that front foot. So your back knee is bent, your front leg is straight. Flex that front foot and reach out toward the toes or toward the floor if you're feeling a little more flexible. Or just put your hands gently right above the knee if you're not feeling so flexible. So this is a nice stretch through the back of that front leg. Big hamstring stretch. Gently come up and then step that front leg behind you. I'm gonna drop down into the knees and tuck the tailbone under to get a nice hip flexor stretch here. And add a little twist to the opposite side if you want. Let's take it back to the center. Step in, quad stretch on the other side. So grab the foot, press the heel into the glutes. Standing nice and tall. Opposite arm out for balance, knees close together. The foot you're holding on to, we're gonna release it and step it down in front. Shift your weight back, tip the hips, bend the back knee, straighten the front leg, flex the front foot and reach out toward the toes, toward the floor. Or hands right above the knee. Hamstring stretch. <sighs> Gently come up. Take that front foot behind you, drop down into the knees, tuck the tailbone under, hip flexor stretch. Add that turn to the side if you want. And bring it all back into the center, come on up. Quick shake, couple big shoulder rolls. You guys are done with your workout for this morning or for this whatever type of day it is when you're watching this broadcast. <laughs> if you're with me live, good morning. <laughs> have an awesome day, you guys. Thank you so much. I know you have lots of options when it comes to getting exercise. There's a lot of stuff out there online and I really appreciate you spending your time with me. I'm about to put my social media information back up on the screen so you can join me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube if you are not already with me. Also, my PayPal and my Patreon information is right there on the screen if you are interested in making a one-time donation or contributing on a regular basis. That information is there as well. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate your time. I appreciate any donations. Have a great day. Take care. See you next time. Be well.